And now we move on to Jose Aldo taking on Marab Davalashvili. And I'm picking Jose Aldo here. He has fought some really, really good wrestlers in the past. I know he did get taken down by Rob Font uh, early on into, into his... Uh, oh, that wasn't even early on. That's eight months ago. He got taken down by Rob Font, which isn't a good look. And Marab does that to you, man. Marab takes people down, and then they get back up, and then just takes them down. They get back up again. They takes them down and get back up again. He's got, like, a record for most takedowns in UFC or, like, one of the most in bantamweight history or something like that already, which is crazy. But um, I think that uh, it's not going to work too well against Jose Aldo. That quote could potentially age really, really badly. But I do believe that Jose Aldo should be able to beat Marab here. I think Jose Aldo might get taken down at least once in the matchup. But he's going to get back up again. You know, even um, Marlon Moraes was getting taken down and he got back up again. And uh, Marab Balashvili was running away from Marlon Moraes at one point as well. Like, Marab striking ain't, ain't um, doesn't impress me. You know what I mean? Jose Aldo's got really good striking. He hasn't necessarily been knocking guys out at Bantamweight. He's won three decisions, but I think if he's going to knock someone out, I do think it is going to be Marab because Marab, you know, he, yes, it was Marlon Marais, and Marlon Marais, I feel like, has just been quite underrated. I know Marlon Marais has no chin whatsoever, but Marlon Marais's power itself is quite underrated, and I think that, uh, yeah, Marlon Marais was having success. He obviously hurt Marab, I think, twice in that fight as well, pretty early on. I think Jose Aldo is going to be able to do the same, but I think he's just got more composure just more fine IQ, more experience, and I think he's going to be able to beat Marab on the feet for sure, defend the takedowns, and I think he probably will end up knocking out Marab Dvalishvili. Absolutely, path to victory for Marab, takes Jose Aldo down, Aldo gets back up, takes him down again, gets back up, because Jose Aldo, you know, we say that three-round Aldo is a mythical fighter, and the reason why we say that is because his cardio and the fourth and the fifth round does tend to slow down, and that's exactly what Marab Dvalishvili's game plan is to do. He takes you down. You get back up, and then he takes you down. It's just exhausting. You, he's exhausting you from you having to get back up, and then he just takes you down again. Potentially, that game plan could work against Aldo. There's definitely a world and a scenario where that happens, but I'm just looking at the striking of Marab, and it's just not not very technical. He's he's uh, he's very hittable. He's been hit hard by Malo Marais and hurt before, and I think that Jose Aldo, if he gets the same opportunity, he's going to be able to do a bit more damage than Marais did. I'm going to be picking Jose Aldo for his first finished win now since he's dropped down to bantamweight. And I do think if he beats Marab, the way that the division has been matched up and how it's going right now, he might leapfrog Jan to a title shot. And I think he might fight the winner of TJ Dillashaw versus uh, Aljamain Sterling, which would be crazy. And I actually do think, like, I think Aljamain Sterling would beat a lot of guys in the UFC bantamweight division. But I actually genuinely believe that Jose Aldo could beat TJ Dillashaw. And I genuinely believe that he could beat... Uh, um, Aljamain Sterling as well, which is pretty crazy to me, in my opinion. But yeah, give me Aldo to win this fight. I'm going to be picking KO. I, I'm going to do it, man. I'm picking Aldo to win by KO, and I'm really happy for him. He's going on a good run late into his career, and we'll see how long it lasts. I think he potentially has the opportunity to fight for the belt. I think if he beats Marab, I think it might be title shot time. You know, he's got three wins already over ranked guys. Cheeto Vera win is aging supremely well. Like, it's crazy. I think Jose Aldo is going to win. I think he's going to win by KO. I've given a lot of reasons why. Let's just move on to the next fight.